Shine My Love. This is your girl Shantice, also known as With Love SB. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. I am so happy to have you. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much for your love and support. Like I tell you in every video, it means the most to me. So yes, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, it is going to be about these very long ankle length faux slash soft butterfly locks whatever you want to describe them as that i did on myself and completely diy see but yeah i am so excited i can't wait to share with you the process if that's something you're interested in watching be sure to stay tuned okay so first things first let me just show you the products that i'll be using to do these lock extensions um just a regular Wet tail comb, crochet needle. Got it from my local beauty supply store. I believe it was like $1.99. These are the two brands of hair that I'm going to be using. So I have the Cuban Twist, super long, it's 24 inches in the color 1B. And I'm just showing you the texture of the Cuban Twist hair. It's stretched out a little bit. kind of coarse and this is what I'm going to use as the base of the hair so in order to wrap my faux locks I'm going to be using this free choice braiding hair it is water wave extra long in the color 1b so this is what I'm going to be using to actually wrap around to make that distressed soft lock look all right so this is the texture of this water wave hair that I'm going to stretch out and wrap around the braids. We'll wrap around the Cuban twist hair, so yes. So because I have my star locks in my hair, my hair is already pretty much already parted. Um, I'm gonna use the rat tail comb to, you know, do a better job of making sure that the parts are a little straighter. And then I'm gonna go in with my shining jam right here. This is the extra hold. So this is the extra hold shining jam. And then I also have the Gots To Be Glue, um, the black bottle, the ultra glue. So yeah, so those are all the products that I'm gonna use on my hair. Gonna go ahead and pull my hair up in a scrunchie, make sure my parts are cleaner, use this, add the um, Cuban twist hair to the ends of my hair to you know, make my lock extensions, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around with the free trace water wave hair to get me my nice soft distress soft lock. So stay tuned. First, I'm gonna take this, stretch the hair out. And then the pieces of water wave hair and I'm gonna to use to wrap around and stretch these out as well. I like to start by putting the ends together and then stretching them out like this. Combing through them with my fingers. Then I take them one by one and I stretch them apart like this. All right, next step. Take a little bit of my shining gel. Crochet hook. stick it through right there take the Cuban twist hair the base wrap it around the hook 
Close the latch. Pull it through. So then we got three sections. And because I want it to be very long, then it's going to be very uneven. It's going to be a very short end here in my braid. I mean, my lock. And then we're just going to plait them together. Then I just twist it at the end. And then we have the base. Stand up so you can see. It's the base right here. Then I'm gonna take my crochet needle one more time to put the first group of wrap in here. Crochet it, crochet that into the plait that I just made. So Take it through again. Get it on the hook. Close the little latch and pull it through. So with this, I just wrap one end around. That way. And then from here, we wrap it around. times you wrap it around the base of the arm lock the tighter your full lock is going to be me personally I like the distressed look I like them um, to kind of look old and you know boho chic already so I don't make it too tight and you just start wrapping around until you get to the bottom, making sure you cover up as much as your real hair as possible. Now, some places it's not necessarily perfect, but it'll look much better. Like if you know, it'll be less noticeable if your hair was the same color as this hair that you're doing your full locks with. So because my hair is blonde and this hair is black, it takes a little extra effort to make sure that I'm wrapping it tightly so that the majority of my hair is covered. Punch it up. And since I like I said, I like mine to look distressed, I don't do it perfectly. Like, I uh, like for it to get, you know, bunched up and matted up like that. That's what gives it the, like, butterfly lock look. Or this distressed, soft lock look. Alright. So once you start to get to, or it's the end of the wrapping hair, you can lay it down. And as you can see, I still have pretty good ways to go. That's when your second piece of wrapping hair is going to come into place. So I take the next strand of hair.
stick it in the scrunchie. Or you can use clamps, if you have clamps or clips or whatever. But I, I'll have a scrunchie, so I'll just pull that up in there so it's not as long. And then I'll just continue like this. Third piece of hair, I'm gonna do the same thing. Wrap it all the way till you get to the end. Then once you do that. I start wrapping it back up the other direction. So that it's more secure. All right. Now when it comes to securing it, I personally like to use like nail glue or super glue or things like that. I actually ran out of nail glue. Um, so I have my fire here. So I'm gonna just go back to the old school method and burn it. Now when you do this, it makes it so that like the hair will stick together. That's the downside of not, you know, using glue. But I take it to where the end is when I finish wrapping. Then I just like fire along the edge of it. Not too much, but like that. And then I just palm roll it so that it sticks together. And then there we have it. Open now. And voila! All done. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, fix the little pieces, you know, along the hair that I may have um, not wrapped properly, or you can still see the blonde sticking out. And my little accessories to it, at, you know, my edge control, and yeah. All right, my loves. As you can see, this is the final look right here. My ankle length faux slash butterfly soft locks right here. I absolutely love them. It was worth the time and effort that I put into it. It took me three days to finish this. I started and stopped multiple times. Um, it took about a total of 25 hours to finalize everything. And I absolutely love it. I'll give you a closer look right here. You know, I just added my little decoration, my little string, and my little cowrie seashells to the hair. But yes. This is it. It is a little heavier than I anticipated, but either way, go. I'm still absolutely loving it. And yeah, tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, share, anything that you would like to ask. Feel free to leave it in the comment section. But as always, I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.